Ever since Mid Journey launched their zoom out capabilities just a few days back, everyone has been making such beautiful animations. Today we are going to learn how you can create the exact same animation within one minute in a free software named CapCut. This method is so simple that you can apply it to any video editing software with keyframe capabilities that you are familiar with like Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro or anything else. Let's jump into Mid Journey to get our images first. For this method to work smoothly and without any complexities, you should generate images with the exact zoom ratio like 1.5x, 2x or if any of you go for the custom ratio, they should be the same for all of those images. Uh, today's images are very kindly generated by Julie Heron. She is one of those very few people that I personally know who are doing amazing work in AI space and the graphic novels and comics she creates those are just superb i have put a link in the description you should just go and check it out say hi to her if you are looking for someone to help you with ai assisted graphic novels or create youtube thumbnails for you she is the one you should go to now let's shoot up cap cut import our images here drag them to the timeline now we have to animate these images one by one to get that zoom out effect now you all might be wondering why i'm not changing the time frame for each of the images well i can do that but then if i suddenly decide that i have to increase or decrease the speed a little bit i have to do that for each of those images and then drag them to each other again one by one now the best idea would be just create an animation create a compound clip or nested clip out of that then we can just change the speed up a notch or down a notch according to our needs now the concept is if we change the scale of the first frame of the second image to match the last frame of the first image and then if we set the scale of the last frame of the second image to its original size that should give a nice animation now technically as we have applied 1.5x zoom to each of the images in mid journey then we should change the scale to 150% right if we try to see how it plays out you can see it's not exactly the same image so we need to fine tune it a little bit as i have found out in my experiments that practically if we change this to 133% then it perfectly matches the previous image in case of 1.5x zoom in mid journey you can see these are the technically the same images now Let's turn on the keyframe on this one so we can animate that go to the last frame of the same in image by pressing the down key and set the scale to 100%. If you play this image now, it gives a nice little animation. Let's repeat the process for all other images. You can see there is a jerk happening while transitioning from picture number 3 to picture number 4 and again at picture number 4 to picture number 5. That means we have to fine tune them a little bit more. Let's go to picture number 4 and play with the scale a little bit. Setting the first keyframe of the picture 4 to 152% seems to do the trick for this one. Repeating the same for picture number 5 and again picture number 7. Now to change up its speed as we please, let's select all the images. Right click, create compound clip. Now we go to this speed button. Change the speed to somewhere around 4x. And we have our beautiful animation completely ready for to use. Now you can just uh, change the speed as per your liking, add some music to it and export it. If you want to learn how you can do the exact same thing in DaVinci Resolve, you should definitely check this video right here.